All right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World and on Blue Devil. What we have going on today is a video of Adam22 responding to WAC100 over that beef with Sharp. We also got some San Diego goons calling out WAC100. But before we get into that video, if you guys are new to the Hater World, make sure you go over, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, like the video, and most importantly, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you guys like what I'm doing or whether you don't. And salute to all the day ones, all the subscribers. You guys already know nothing but love. But check this out. This video was sent to my Instagram at the Hater World. So if you don't follow me, make sure you do so. Also hit me up on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook at the Hater World. And all business inquiries, thehaterworld at gmail.com. But we got this video of some San Diego goons uh, telling WAC 100 come through. We want all the smoke. We also got Adam22 uh, speaking upon the beef with Sharp. Now, I do want to have a uh, mention in this video and give a big shout out to Hoodie from the Hood. He's a, he's a fellow content creator. Uh, he's a YouTuber. He got a page. Uh, I'm going to leave his link in the description or I'm going to put it up here. Go hit the homie with a follow. Let him know that, that, uh, that Blue Devil sent you. Go write in his comments, Blue Devil sent you, and go put the world emoji. Uh, but shout out to him uh, because he's the one, I believe, uh, that's attached to the video with the San Diego goons. And now I'm only giving you guys public knowledge because I've seen it on this page somewhere. So I know he's cool with it being out there, right? So check this out. Let's go ahead and watch this video and get you guys a Southsiders reaction. So with no further ado, let's get it. Nigga, Dago, nigga, we all over, nigga, in the pit, nigga. I just dropped 32 and 9, nigga. Nigga, I knocked the nigga out, nigga. Nigga, I ain't doing no time. Hey, nigga said, hey, beat the fuck out of whack. Listen, San Diego, nigga, say, listen. No, you don't respect that, about that, nigga, man. About sharp, about any nigga. San Diego, nigga, 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 he's fine. You already know, it's your favorite hustler, man. Rap the love. Hey, bro. San Diego. Hey, bro. Tight stick three. You already know what it do. Dang, go focus. Me and this motherfucker on East Side. Side to five, nigga. Come on down here. You that big, nigga. You that big, nigga. Check it out. Let's not forget that ODM Slim don't get along with WAC 100. Because if you recall, uh, when C Mac was busted, WAC 100 put his name out there in the media for everybody to know. Uh, and so ever since ODM don't get along with WAC. Uh, we got the OG right here calling out WAC, saying come through, come get some. We want all that smoke. Is WAC 100 going to respond? Of course not, he's not going to respond. Uh, but this goes to show you that there is goons everywhere, not only in Los Angeles. You know, I learned that shit the hard way. Uh, you know, but here we got nothing but blue. We got ODM Slim, Lupe, and then we got uh, all the 40s right here. You know, so shout out to them. But let's keep going. He said, I've been locked up with all your homies. Check this out. You know how he's an OG? Look what he's wearing. He's wearing the uh, the three quarter sleeves, uh, the the three quarter sleeve baseball t shirts. You know, you know OGs because they wear single color t shirts, all black, all blue, all red, all white. They don't like to wear all the fancy graphics. You know, plus he's wearing his colors. You know, that's how you know they dedicated. Let's go. All my 20s, all my 30s, all my 40s, nigga, I was working on the fifth code. Nigga, I was working on the 50s, I look. And I'm still strong, nigga. still got it. And I'm still strong, nigga. There you go, nigga. Nigga, I was working on the fifth Check it out. Check it out. Uh, listen. WAC 100 is not pulling up. WAC 100 don't want the smoke. WAC 100 thought that Sharp was alone. WAC 100 didn't know that everybody was going to back up Sharp. Now, look. 
I did see people in the comments all over the place saying that uh, Sharp is getting uh, some of his own medicine, right? That he bullied uh, that little kid Kelpie, and now nobody should feel bad because he's getting bullied by Whack. There's a difference, okay? Let me tell you what the difference is. The difference is this, to those motherfuckers that always want to find a reason to say why. The difference is that Kelpie is an entertainer. He is there for entertainment purposes. He is there faking the funk. Sharp never fought him, never asked to fight him. He was just clowning the young fellow for that video. It wasn't uh it wasn't like what WAC 100 did. WAC 100 not only did he call out San Diego, not only did he call out Sharp, not only did he disrespect Adam and his building, not only did he say he ran San Fernando, he literally went off at the mouth. Sharp versus Kelpie was just something for the internet. That is it. It doesn't go past that. Once Kelpie leaves, it's all gravy. People need to understand the difference entertainment purposes and some street shit whack 100 turned it into some street shit when he said i'll call dago and you ain't gonna do a damn thing i'll call adam and adam will unlock the back door for i can go in there and sneak you come on my boy you fucking up like come on you're putting adam on the spot you're disrespecting a whole fucking city come on now look at let's go watch this video of adam 22 talking about whack 100 let's get it now this video is really long, but I'm not gonna watch the entire thing. We're gonna watch the last minute, all right? And I'll break it down for you. Let's get it. Me and Sharp's relationship. That's my homeboy. If anything, I'm gonna try to, you know, Batman and shit and put them, put them two on the phone and make this shit shake. But <laughs> I'm gonna just stay out of it because he said I would open the door for him to confront Sharp. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not doing that for anybody. We got armed security here. Nobody's getting into the building. It does not have official business to do here. And on top of that, Sharp is my brother. Check it out. I told you guys this in the last video. I told you guys that WAC 100 was not going to go into that building. And what did a lot of people in the comments say? Oh, everything that's happened and no jumper. What do you mean? Listen, what's happened and no jumper has happened inside containment, right? And a lot of it happened at the old building. Uh, here is not going to happen. Adam 22 is not going to risk his credibility, his business, his multi-million dollar business over WAC 100 and his wannabe hood politics. Get the fuck out of here. Listen. WAC 100 said he runs the San Fernando Valley, right? Uh, but yet he doesn't have entrance to this building. So obviously he don't run shit. Uh, I'll tell you like this. Suge Knight would have got in that building, you know. But let's leave that story for another day. Shout out to Big Shook. But check this out. This is where WAC 100 got the game fucked up. He's always talking about how all these white CEOs show him love and they're his business partners and, you know, he got mega relationships with them. But what he don't understand or does not want to understand or does not want to get it through his fucking skull is that these people aren't going to do no illegal activities for you. And they will rat you out at the drop of a dime. If you do anything wrong, anything, whether it's money missing, whether it's trying to scare somebody in the building, whatever it might be, they're picking up that phone and calling 911. If WAC 100 pulls up to no jumper, disrespecting people and they can't contain them they will call 911 you know and all this shit about adam's my homie blah blah because bosses talk to bosses and so on. yeah that's true bosses do talk to bosses but adam is not from the streets adam is not from the streets adam does not play the game that whack 100 plays he's very quick to pick up the phone and call 911 uh he gotta protect his employees he's a boss you know, uh, that's the type of shit that comes with being a boss. But let's go. With an A at the end. I got mad love for him. I would never let anything happen for him. To him. To him. And bro, that shit, so, that shit was funny because I'm like. But shout out to Wack. Because I, I got mad love for Wack, but also like 
don't bring me into it. I, this is a place of business. Nobody getting smoked, beat up, jumped, whatever here. Leave me out of it. Wait, so you're going to beat up Shark. Uh, for him, I would Listen, and that's the way it should be. Respect to Adam for understanding that WAC 100, WAC 100 is just running his mouth. Listen, this is a place of business. You conduct business here. Either you come with business activities or you get the fuck out of here. Simple and plain. Uh, we're not on the streets. You know, uh, uh, Adam didn't meet WAC as a gang member. He met him as a uh, interviewee, you know, uh, and that's, that's where it stays. But like I said, WAC 100 has dropped a lot of his homies uh, friendships from back in the day, from growing up, to have a better and stronger friendship with these white folk because they're giving them money. But the minute they drop them, the minute they get a better artist, the minute they no longer want to deal with Baby Shig Knight, he, got, he can't run back to the hood. He can't run back to his homies. He going to literally have to stay where he at and find a way to make more money. You know, Clubhouse, a.k.a. Treehouse. But check this out. I'm going to kill this video. We're laying call it a day. Once again, big shout out to Hoodie from the Hood. Go give him a follow. If he comments, I'll pin the shit. Uh, let him know Blue Devil sent you. And shout out to Adam for, for doing what's right. Uh, and you know what? We'll never see that five versus sharp and whack. It ain't never going to happen. You know? So fuck it. We're going to call it a video. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Follow me on Instagram at the Hater World. I'm Blue Devil. This has been a Hater World production. And we out.